guys, welcome back to another video. We're not running trains tonight, we're going to do something a little different. Um, we are doing, um, well, this is the sort of idea I got from the Sam's trains, if you've seen this stuff. He's taking things that I got, uh, scrap stuff. Um, so that we're also going to show the senior collection I have got, including the, not in scrap, but it's very different sort of stuff, but. It's going to be some different video, it's not going to be like a normal video. So, I've got a few <coughs> locos and bodies from excess models. I am going to show you some of these things, you know, so as soon as they're a complete stake. Some are newer than others, obviously. Some are going to be repaired, hopefully very soon, and I can get them up and running again, but... Uh, I think the first thing we're going to look at is the scrap stuff first, and then we can look at... Um, that one's for the power, and that one's for the heater. We'll put the heater on this body. Just let the heater warm up. Now this heat is very right, old, so it probably won't go up any higher, it should be 24, let's see if we can get it a little bit warmer. But this thing is quite old, so make sure you comment, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, turn on Instagram, follow Facebook, Twitter, and Twitter, link to the download description. So I'm going to show you some of my scrap collection of locos and that's one in stock. Um, It's been spotty just playing around. Um, we haven't got two to up here actually. I'm just looking in the kitchen. Right. <laughs> That's not all of it by the way. Still got, got a bunch. So to go through. Just a load of it. But um, it is mental. And that amount of stuff I've got in the collection of. There won't be no running sessions tonight, it'll be just something different on iTrain's car so you can tell me the views. Something very different, something doesn't do, get done very often on my this channel, but I thought tonight would be a good time to take a look at X locomotives, X tracks and systems I have got over the years. So should we take a look at the box? Um, I think we'll just take your stripe of doing this. There we go. So there we go guys, we've got all this. We've got all these. Um Right, where <laughs> where to start? Um there'll be no running trains at the moment as I said, but not tonight. Tomorrow we'll be doing that again. Right. Okay. <laughs> we've got a lot more than I thought. So present you salvageable locos. Um, now, there's so much, I mean it's ridiculous, the amount of X bodies, whoops, X motors and things like that, there's loads of them. I mean, so many stuff can be potentially salvageable, I'm up and running on models again, but, uh, hmm. right. <laughs> I will leave it here in a moment, just to change what we got. So much. Right. Uh, guys, as I said, we have, we're doing a salvageable locos, not salvageable, we're basically looking through the junk stuff. Um, like from locos, they're from over the years, since I started the channel basically, or longer. Um, 
Right, where to start? So we got we start with the 101 T car DMU. Well, this unit's fine, apart from it's a missing buff on it. Everything else is still there. It's just that and the it just needs um a bit of detail done up on it. Now we've got a bit of glass there. We need to get rid of that. That's a bit dangerous. Hmm. Get rid of that. So yes, this is the one in the broken um DMU which I have got. I've got the body and this one, you can see. Originally was burning, um you have to check my videos back from twenty sixteen um and twenty seventeen I think it was the last time I ever run that one because obviously the motor issue it had on it. I could potentially chuck it to Batman or a train shop who can actually repair it for me, but I didn't. But I'll probably just get a new one to be honest. And they're not the most expensive models. They are not cheap, but they are still not the most expensive. We have got a box to look inside this very shortly. Um, we got a plastic um, sleeve thing for the class 47. Um, <laughs> and I told you this is going to be a little bit strange video, didn't I? So, yeah. We got a body from a old trying steam locomotive. I'm not quite sure what sort of era and what it came from, but I remember going it for my birthday and it did run for a while. It's because something went wrong on it, and I'm not totally sure what. Um, so there's a a bit of a pickup shoe stuff, uh, a motor. There we go. <coughs> hmm. Yes, hmm, it is definitely seen its best. Definitely uh, not the best looking motor, but it could be searchable. I think it will still run, but I think it will um, still run. We've got alcohol tender here, which is a potential runner. She just needs the motor and the train set itself to go with her. And then she'll be a, a complete running train again, but obviously her wheels are not great. Um, I'll put put some metal wheels on that at some point, make it runnable. We've got this Triumph Class, uh, Hornby Class 47. The headboard, uh, it does used to light up, but obviously the motor is gone, the spring is gone. And I'll just show you because, just wobbling it out, uh, that's when you put the camera down for you. Oh, yeah, it doesn't like sitting on the tripod very well. Um, this camcorder does not like sitting on, the cam sitting on the tripod very much. There we go. I'm just going to open the motor up for you so you can see a little bit easier. There we go. Hopefully the camera will pick it up really well. But these are all the sizable locos that I've got at the moment. Plus the ones off to the side. Um, what happened in the class 87? Oh yes, I forgot about this. Um, well, a few, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago or something. Something went completely wrong with the cogs. And as you can see, the buffers are not in great shape. The, well, the system is completely out of it. And obviously the shell doesn't sit properly on the motor. So um, it's a shame that she's gone the way she has but I did like it so I might just get another Hornby class 87 in the same livery I think but I can get another one there pretty cheap and we got the flying Scotsman which oh no done some detail to it and look what happened it broke do you know where this model um, motor car is the, the shells here which actually um, a couple of weeks ago before this problem happened look I did some detail in the cab, I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up, but if I look down from a high enough angle, you can see all the detail I put in it. Um, I did put quite a number of details in the cab, because that way it looked quite cool. But the shame thing is, I'm going to get onto the box shortly, but I'm going to show you the uh, cab, well, the motor itself. Because a lot of people ask me, what happened to the Voco then? Well... The Lyco is here, and you can see what's happened, all the cogs are bent, and 
everything else. So what I'm going to do is take this to a train shop and see if someone can fix this for me. And so we can still get it running and work in order. And another one part chargeable loco is the Pendolino with the coupling system. It's gone completely out of shape. I tried to fix some of my own but they don't work properly. So another chargeable body which is this locomotive. It came from a train uh, locomotive. But there's no tail lights but there's just the actual lights. Which is kind of strange. So I'm, if I find another one of these locos, I will um, put her to the side for another use at some point, which would be quite cool. So these are sizable bodies from X locos, and with, over here, <laughs> we've got a sizable um, 040 collectors club model, a red and red and. Uh, if you guys can read what that says, because I'm not totally sure what that actually means. But it's a local I had for a long time, but obviously the um, recent years it started to go pear shape on me. Um, we also got an next train Blue Pullman uh, motor coach, but obviously out of the motor. But the motor is down this end, which is uh, down on the floor somewhere, I think. And of course, I also got... This um, shell from a locomotive which I got in Bus Castle. Um, I think the locomotive is quite old and look, it's been down there for so long it's cobwebs growing in it. So you can see the sense of, sense of uh, cobwebs and stuff like this because they don't get used very often. Um, I've got a tin, tin table below me, but yeah, here's the Flying Scotsman, which is the one I'm going to restore. Uh, up and running again and hoping you restore this model if I can by someone and look let's see how much of a shame this model is look at the state of this one in it this is the king class king Daniel the third I think I keep showing you this on the past models looks at the state of the handrails and details and everything it's not in the best shape is it but yeah she was um, one I got from Hamleys a few about probably five or six years ago almost now about four years ago I think and she basically did run a lot of my lap before something that went wrong with her but I can never could find what was wrong with her directly but if I find another second hand one in good condition in running order and I'll collect one but I haven't found one since but um, yeah there's tons of them um, over here which is all my running locos Except from those two there, which is a Try and Blue Pullman coach and training car, which has, um, I'm just waiting for the motor train to connect her to so she can run again. But same with the Neo Virgin trains, she still works, the motor still works.